Hi everyone, my name is Anna Anders Humbly here on this YouTube channel. Just wanted to do a, a Thursday, July 19, 2018 shout out, an activist shout out for myself here to update you with where I'm at. Um, I was going to post it all on Facebook uh, by hand, but I thought, nope, I need to do a video and to touch base with people. So um, what I want to talk about today here is um, some things that I recently learned, which I want to share that with you. So whenever I learn something new, I always try to share my mojo with the rest of the folks so they can be updated and so they can use their smarts to uh, use their smart devices, smartphones and laptops and, and, and the like, to do their own research because, you know, we all got Google right at hand so we can verify and clarify uh, Mis misinformation and real information and disinformation because there's a variety of types of information that we are fed daily from the Main Street corrupt Nazi Illuminati ones. So, but I try not to eat none of that stuff anymore because I don't want to be indoctrinated, okay? So, but what I want to share here today, folks, is yes, I want to suggest for you to um, learn about the naughty Illuminati ones. Just Google YouTube. Illuminati and see what you think and see what fits with you and um, explore it, okay? But uh, for me, I had to learn a long time ago, actually um, about a year or so ago, I learned that the Naughty Illuminati and the Purple Mafia, the actual Purple Mafia is the globalist 1% parasitical elite. Those are the guys at the top. Um, and I, yes, I'm talking about the Queen of England. Yes, I'm talking about the Pope. Yes, I'm talking about the real big ballers in uh, Israel there, the Rothschilds and Rockefellers that run everything and control everything. Um, so I'm talking about uh, a collective group of people that have been very large and very much in charge of our world from local to global. I'm humbly Anna Anders, and it's all been a, a direct result of their dominant global domination and control of uh, what we've been fed. Fast forward here in July 20, 2018. So um, I want you, I want to give you a few suggestions to, uh, to research with your first set of smarts and your smart device. Number one, I want you to learn about hexagrams, okay? Google and YouTube hexagrams, okay? And see how they have influenced our daily lives. See how they influ they were influential in many cultures, um, number one. Number two, um, I also want to ask you what you know about Hollywood and their owners influencing our daily lives. Politically, um, we know that they're influencing our daily lives as far as entertainment goes, but politically, how do they influence our daily lives? Um, and an example I'm going to give you here is a man by the name of John Miller. John Miller, I want you to research his name. He was in charge of journalism to talk about the terrorism after 9-11-01. But a little bit of information about John Miller prior to 9-11-01 was that he was born and raised to um, a set of parents that were actually and factually gossip columnists for Hollywood or Holly Weird, as I like to call it these days. You know, um, so anyways, John Miller was raised by his parents who were gossip columnists for Holly Weird. And um, in 1998, John Miller actually got to interview Osama bin Laden. Our country, I guess, flew him out and uh, flew him out to Afghanistan and allowed him to be, um, I believe it was Afghanistan. Don't quote me on it. You can research and find out and correct me because I'm teachable and I'm open to, uh, you know, my mistakes. So we have to be that way. You know, I'm, I'm a human who's not perfect. So and I don't want to strive to be perfect here. So, um, but what I want to say is John Miller, he had the opportunity to interview Osama bin Laden in 1998. You can Google and YouTube that. And then also, um, what I want to say to you is uh, all the drama, trauma, and chaos that has manifested in that Middle East is a direct result of the Balfour Declaration. 
Balfour Declaration. Google and YouTube and learn about that for yourselves. And then also, um, yeah, as a direct result of the Balfour Declaration, that's why there's been all that Middle East drama. And what that was basically, it was England of all places writing up a paper from uh, Mr. Rothschild, writing up a paper saying that England gives... Um, Israel permission to have some of Palestine's land. So, you know, how can another country write and dictate for another country? I just don't get that and understand that. How did they have that much power? How did England have that much power back in the day to um, write out the manifesto for the future of Palestine? That's what I want to know. How was that possible even? Um, because you remember Gandhi, Gandhi, he had to protest um, for peace, excuse me, and he had to protest to get his, his country back, India, the country of India, back because of the Queen's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> occupation, control, domination of it, you know, at one time. So, we, you know, we're all being lied to, folks, um, at, at some severe levels, um, and it all ties back and leaks links back to the Nazi Illuminati ones. So when you want to know about the Illuminati, you need to go backwards in time, backwards in history, and that would be um, going backwards to Washington, D.C., 